Analysis results ready. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Ace? I may have some bad news. Chief? What's wrong? Look. Exosuits are piloted via the brainstem bypass, right? The neural link to the pilot. That pretty much means the suit is accepting data directly from your brain. I've been trying to figure out why the exosuit is storing and transmitting that data during the war games. Well, look at this experiment they were doing with exosuits back before the incident. Okay, uh, first we'll activate the brainstem bypass's transmission system. Any response from Leviathan? And we checked out the exosuits, and it looks like Leviathan's implanted a data collection program into their firmware. Like, all of them. We never would have noticed it if it weren't for Sandy's little... experiment. Sandy. That is his way of saying, well done. I am pleased to be of assistance. What does Leviathan need exosuit data for? Is it tracking Ace's location and vitals? No. No, what Sandy intercepted is much more complex than that. You see, this component in the exosuit spine, the memory buffer, is saving your neural signals. Ace, it's gradually building up a data file. And it is a lot of data. I've confirmed it, Ace. Leviathan's collecting your reactions to heat, explosions, oncoming dinosaurs, the way you respond to every combat scenario, and maybe even more than that. Listen again to the audio from Anchor Division. Combat data collection test number 12. Split-second thinking. That's the kind of instinct we can use. If Leviathan's building a database of exo-fighter responses, all your combat instincts... Then by the time we've learned how to destroy it... He could already know everything about you. Chief, you must disable this. Make it stop transmitting. I can't. Not without unlacing the entire neural weave that drives the control system. Like it or not, the exosuit's keeping Ace alive out there. But the more we use it, the more it helps Leviathan. <laughs>